Recent school shootings have forced educators to question whether or not their school is ready to be able to handle an active shooter on campus. West Side Stories reporter Jessica Kroll talks to officials at GVSU to make sure the university is ready for a potential campus emergency. Students of all ages across the country have been concerned about their school safety in the past month. According to the Educator School Safety Network, there is an average of 70 school threats per day, and Michigan is in the top 10 for states of concern since the Valentine's Day shooting in Parkland, Florida. On March 2nd, a Central Michigan University student shot both his parents in his dorm room. A tragic story so close to home has GVSU students worried about their safety. It raises a question for GVSU staff and students. Is Grand Valley really ready for an emergency? Grand Valley's ready. We've prepared for all types of hazards. Certainly the emergencies have changed over time. Uh, before it used to just be tornadoes and winter closings. But uh, emergencies have certainly changed within the last decade. We're constantly thinking about what can we do better today so that tomorrow we're more prepared and, and we can perform better. GVSU is home to more than 23,000 Lakers, and each of them should feel safe, no matter where they are. We, we have a strong relationship with GVPD, and, and you know, on the rare occasion that the, the need arises, they've been extremely responsive. Um, we're well staffed. Um, we, we have uh, full-time staff in the building at all times, as well as several student employees, all of which are are trained to uh, help keep this place safe. Although GVSU has these security measures in place, students and staff should still be prepared for a campus emergency. On March 12th, GVSU posted a video to YouTube titled, What if there was an active threat on campus? That takes you step by step to prepare for potential danger. So after the events in Florida and up at Central Michigan, our social media uh, sergeant thought that it would be good to get some additional information out. So one of those concepts that we teach here at Grand Valley is run, hide, fight. So we got a bunch of our officers together and they thought it'd be pretty neat to just kind of throw a little tag word out there of what students could do, what our staff and faculty could do if that were ever to visit Grand Valley. This three-step model is taught to some students as well. Rodney Klingler is a student manager at Papa John's on campus and received some emergency training last August. I feel like if it came to a situation where I had to take action, I feel like I'd be able to successfully be able to help. It would be a shock at first, obviously I'd be in a little disarray, but I feel like I'd be able to get myself out of it pretty quickly and um, help the people around me. GVSU has many security measures to keep students safe, like security cameras, card access dorms, and police officers who partner with other local law enforcement. O'Donnell says students should feel safe on campus, and Mary and Klingler agree. Students should feel safe because of all the efforts that we placed into the preparedness and prevention aspects. It's a pretty safe environment. It's a pretty safe uh, campus when you look at the statistics and compare it, compare it to other places. I feel like Grand Valley is definitely a safer campus than most places. And I just want to say it's probably due to the area that we're in. Even if there aren't emergencies on campus, GVSU police work to make sure students are always protected, like when walking alone at night. Well, there are a couple things that are not really do, just to use during an emergency, it's things that you can use every single day, every night while you're walking across campus. The Guardian Safety app, they can click on a, a panic button per se, or if they don't reach their destination, their expected time, it will send our department an alert. So we also do the Safe Walk program where we actually will have a cadet or even one of our officers, if, if the cadets are not available, uh, walk somebody across campus at nighttime if they feel unsafe. Grand Valley also has an emergency alert system in place called GVSU Alert. Students will receive a text, phone call, and or an email alert for emergencies or other things such as school closings or delays. Text messages go out in as little as 22 seconds, but the most up-to-date information can be found at gvsu.edu forward slash emergency. In the event of an emergency, the green box on the page will turn red, and the information can be viewed in real time as the dispatcher updates it. The system's pretty robust. It's got a couple backup and redundancies that if one sec if you don't get one message, maybe your text isn't working or your phone is dead, you'll certainly hear other components of the system to warn you that either there's an emergency or something that we need you to, to take attention to. Students say they feel safe at Grand Valley State University, but that does not mean the campus is immune to threats. O'Donnell says students should be familiar with the three-step model and know what to do in the case of an emergency. For West Side Stories in Allendale, I'm Jessica Kroll. 
Sergeant O'Donnell says new security measures and police will be added to the Grand Rapids Pew campus next fall. And he encourages students to rely on GVSU alerts for the most up-to-date emergency information.